So we'll directly just press on this icon over here and choose the map type to satellite. Then go to Nice Lane. That's N W A C L N. Got it. And I was told that uh, zoom into it and then scroll to the right. Let's see. Okay then. Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Kaushal and you're watching TechWoo. So today we are going to have a little talk about Google Maps. So I feel that this might be a little long video. So that's why I'll just skip the introduction. That's enough of it. And we'll just directly jump into the first one. If you find a person who does not like music, then do not trust that person. You don't need such negativity in your life. For me, I especially love music. You guys have pointed it out a lot that there is always a guitar at the back of my video. But the thing is that I actually play, play two instruments. So I also play the keyboard, but that's on the other side of the camera. So you guys cannot see it. Anyway, so I love music and I actually dedicate two hours of my life to music every day. But that's too much information about me and we'll get back to the topic. So, okay, one last thing about me, which actually relates to the video. So I listen to music all the time, even while driving. So it gets a little bit tricky for me while changing from the default music application to uh, Google Maps. So Google Maps have actually integrated this feature where we can actually embed our uh, Spotify or Google Play Music directly to our Google Maps so that whenever we are even commuting, it, the controls of the player will be displayed inside our maps. So that would make our life much more easier. How to do it? Let's see. First, uh, open your maps application, then tap on your name on the top right corner. Over here, you will see the settings option. Go to the settings, uh, scroll down at the bottom. You will see navigation settings, right? So in the navigation settings, uh, you will see the option show media playback controls. Just tap on it and it will let you choose a default media application. So in this phone, I only have Google Play Music installed. But if you have Spotify or Apple Music on your phone, then those are also supported by Google Maps. So you can directly embed their controls inside your map section and easily listen to music while you drive without any hassles. Tip number two, who doesn't like dark stuff? My chocolate is dark, my humor is dark, my life is dark, and uh, 2020 has also been an era of the dark mode. Instagram, WhatsApp, Facebook, everyone is removing their dark modes and so does Google Maps. But the trick is that Google Maps only shows the dark mode when there is actually night out there or you're passing through a tunnel. But if you actually want that dark skin over your Google Maps 24 seven, it's very, very simple to do so. And the last trick, we actually went to the navigation settings. That's where it's present. Just open up those settings. And here in the map display section, the color scheme is written. Automatic will automatically switch between the day and night. And if you click on the night, then it will turn on the dark mode and you can easily enjoy that 24 seven. Simple trick, right? Okay, we'll make it a little bit more interesting now. Let's go for the third one. Well, this is a very interesting one. So you guys must have definitely heard about that guy who successfully tricked Google Maps. That was this person, Simon Wickert. Am I saying his name right? Oh, uh, yes, Simon Wickert. So this guy successfully tricked the Google Maps into believing that there was a traffic on a street while there was no traffic at all over there. <clears throat> so do you guys know whenever we search anything on Google Maps or like whenever we get the directions, it also shows us the live traffic update. So the line which is blue, that means there is clear of traffic. Orange means that there is some traffic and red means like there is a huge congestion over there and it might take a while to cross that street. But do you guys know how does Google predict that there will be a uh, live traffic present at that place at that moment. Have you guys ever thought about it? Well, <clears throat> I'll give you 30 seconds to actually think and write it in the answer. Do not Google it. Be say true to yourself, but pause this video for 30 seconds. Write it in the comments. I would like to know how, who came first and who came last. Okay. So pause it at this moment. Now, Nani? well, I hope you guys were honest. I, I'm sure that 90% of you did not pause the video. 
So, but anyway, if you are one of those people who did, now I want you to pause this moment, rewind your life by one minute and tell me this. When I said that pause this video and tell me in the comments, did any of you guys think that today we'll find out something new, we'll have fun, we'll get to learn something? Any of you? No? Well, I'll tell you. Basically, uh, the Google sees how many Android devices are present near to each other. So if there are a lot of Android devices, because 90% of the people use Android smartphones, or even if iOS devices use, they still have Google Maps on it. So Google always tracks our location. So that's why if there are a lot of devices near to each other, that means that that area is populated more and therefore there will be more traffic over there. It's that easy. So this guy, this, this guy, this guy, Simon Wickard, tricked Google algorithm into thinking that there was traffic by just simply taking a small, what do we say? The trolley thingy. I'll Google it later. So this guy, Simon Wickard, used that trolley thingy, just filled it with a bunch of phones and just casually strolled down the street. And as he walked ahead, you can see live update on the in this video right over here that the Google map, the line was turning into red. That means that uh, Google was showing that there was traffic on that street. Well, it's a very fun trick. If you manage to steal 50, 100 phones from your friends or your, your classmates or anyone, then definitely try this out. It will be a fun thing to do, even though it has no positive increment or uh, some significant addition to your life. Now, this is a very easy trick and I actually find, found out about it while I was researching for this video which actually really surprises me because it was this simple and right in front of me, but I still didn't know it. But now I'll tell you. So all you have to do over here is whenever you are present at whatever location, for example, you park your vehicle over there. All you have to do is just tap on the your location over there, like this blue dot right over here, just tap on it and it will allow you to save your parking. That's it. You press on the button and it will save that spot as your parking space. I actually have lost my car a couple of times. Like I didn't lose it, but I kind of forgot where I parked my car. Uh, there is a very crazy story related to it. If you want to know about it, then I'll link the video over here. Just have a look at the video. It's an insane story about me and my sister. So successfully attached that over here. And if you just want to go back and search your parking spot, all you have to do is tap on the search button. And the first thing that you will see at the top is your parking location. See, I'm making your e life easy. Am I not? Let me know in the comments because I need comments for the YouTube algorithm to boost me. Also, if you guys also did not know about this trick just like me, then smash like because smash like. Now, before I move to the final part of the video for which you have watched till now, I'll just like to give out some honorable mentions because I'm chivalrous that way. Okay, so here are five different, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, six different honorable mentions just for you. The first one is you can access maps offline. Everyone knows this. If you don't know, then just click on your, the settings tab. There will be an option of offline maps, download it. It's that easy. Next one is check parking. You'll tap on the directions button and you see over here, the at the bottom, there is a icon of P which has limited written next to it. And it is a red circle. Red means that there is a good chance that you won't get your parking. If it's normal, then you will get a parking. And if it's orange or some other color in between, then there is a 50 50 chance that you might or you might not get. The third honorable mention is that you can also check the peak traffic hour for that exact location. So since I have selected the airport, all I have to do is just click on the button over here. So it will easily show us over here at what time there is the most amount of traffic near that location. We can easily just avoid that time and save ourselves some time. One shot for every time I say time. I said time twice in that sentence and once now. The next one is adding label. So if your friend lives very far to you, then you cannot always directly put in his address on your maps if you don't remember the route. In that case, you can directly just select the location wherever he lives. Just press send, hold on the screen. It will add the pointer over here. Tap on the name, just tap on label and just add his name. That's it. Now, every time I search side check on my Google Maps, it will directly lead me to this location 
in Tukaram Nagar. How the fuck do I delete this though? It's my dad's phone. The last one and the most fun one honorable mention I would say is changing the language of our maps wali auntie. Easy, click on the name, go to settings, go to your navigation settings, select the voice setting, over, uh, choose the voice selection over, by default it is English, you can tap on the name and choose any other language. Uh, if we choose Hindi, let's say, let me hear the test sound. Aapka I have no clue what Gantavya is, but I'm assuming it's destination because duh. I am a Gujarati, so let me try Gujarati one. I'm actually very curious to see. Okay. I have no clue what is Jamdi. Jamdi. Dabi Jamdi wa wari akhi umar wai jai chai yaar. Judge karta karta. Anyway. I'll just let it stay Gujarati so that the next time my dad uses it, it will be really interesting to see his reaction. I'll try to capture his reaction if possible. Finally, now we are at the number one trick, tip, whatever. It's a cool thing basically, okay? I'll tell you some cool locations which you can Google. There is an entire list of video. I will link it in the description if you want more. But first, Let's start with the first one. This one sounds really interesting. The name is Nessie Lane. So we'll directly just press on this icon over here and choose the map type to satellite. Then go to Nice Lane. That's N W A C L N. Got it. And I was told that uh, zoom into it and then scroll to the right. Let's see. Okay then, now finally, the last one, this is for pewds, so all you have to do is now since you're already in the terrain type, I'll show you a very fun thing, S zoom out completely, completely zoom out, see the entire world in front of you, now scroll to Canada, scroll in, scroll in, zoom in, zoom in, over this place near St. John's something something, Scroll further. Oh, I think where the fuck is it? Scroll more. Go here near the burnt cave. Zoom in, zoom in, and here we find the PB Island. Why is it called the PB Island? You ask. Even I don't know, but I do want to go over there. Smash like if you guys also want to visit the PP island. And with PP in our hearts, thank you for watching. That's all for today. My name is Kaushal. Peace out. Bye.